Howdy, everybody. Question. Do you like Yu-Gi-Oh? Do you like Carl freaking Weezer, dude? Let your good friend Carl take care of things. Yep. Do you like Buzz Lightyear? It's the real Buzz Lightyear. You're mocking me, aren't you? Well, well, well. I got the perfect video for you. <laughs> you see, in short, my friend and I, we really got into Duel Links a little while back, casually, and then one day we were drawing and giving each other prompts, and then we found this funny image on Bing. We thought it was hilarious, and we thought that it should belong on a Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> and thus, after making this one card, we made a bunch for fun, and then, you know, I and I'll probably share them with you guys later, but um, yeah, we just made a bunch of these for fun and then we realized that, you know what? You know what? It's been a while. It's been a hot minute. I think it's almost been two years since we made those cards. So thus, we went to Google, we made a wheel full of characters, and I'll do... Dang, who's... What's, what's like an easy good one? That's what I... What about uh, Jimmy you know what? Neutron? To contrast yours, I'll do Woody. Oh, okay. And then Jimmy. Oh, what about Carl Weezer? Oh, yeah. You oh, Carl Weezer. okay. Okay. One more. What's another good one? Uh... <laughs> oh, God. I don't know how I feel about Snoopy, actually, now that I think about it. I... If I get if I get Snoopy, Woody, <laughs> I'm basically just picking Carl. <laughs> I was gonna yeah. say if I get Snoopy, Woody, <laughs> or Yoda, I'm not gonna do him. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well just go with Carl. Wait, spin it. At least Let, let's see. Yeah, let's see. Carl. Let's see. Ooh! Ooh whoa! <laughs> 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 the literal one. I said not. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go see. with uh, Carl Weezer. You know what? We're going to go with Carl Weezer. <laughs> Woo! Carl Weezer, let's go. Let's go. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Now, yes, I know. I was not happy with my wheel spin, and I just decided for myself that I'm going to go with Carl. <laughs> and my friend decided to do Buzz Lightyear. Uh, but anyways, we soon got straight to work and we set out to make, oh my goodness, how many cards did we make? Five! Five! We actually made five cards. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so we soon got straight to work and we set out to make five cards while on a Discord call. It was hilariously funny, and while I was making them, I was trying to make them somewhat usable. You know, nothing, I didn't want to make it too overpowered. But, you know, I wanted to make them fun and still creative to play should we ever use these to play. I doubt we will, but if we did, they're usable. They're not super OP. <laughs> so artistically, I kind of just thought about what kind of cards they were going to be, like if they were like equip cards, trap cards, spells, normal, effect, so on and so forth. And it kind of gave me like a prompt to work off of. And then of course, I tried to make them funny too. Another aspect that was really fun about this was that I could really see how fast my process works. In my last video, I was talking about how I got my drawing speed down to about like two hours. However, for this project, since I was essentially making like way many more drawings in a certain like amount of time, and I, I, I kind of had to get them like done quick, not quick, but you know, fast enough so that we can share them and stuff. Like the, these shouldn't be like magnum opus pieces, you know, they're, they're just for fun. So I cut out the extra sketch phase that I usually do and that I showed in my last video. And then I also did a really lazy like shadow layer for each, almost each of them. I just duplicated the gray layer, I offset it slightly, and then I set it to multiply, which makes a really nice, quick, mm, lazy shadow. <laughs> um, as far as the backgrounds went, I didn't want to take too long because, again, there were so many. And well, I mean, there there was only five, but you know, it it, it takes a, it takes a long time, you know. <laughs> so I just Googled. Yu-Gi-Oh card art backgrounds and those just kind of fit in. I mean for some of them I also took photos and just blurred the heck out of them. But you know, whatever works. And then of course we just went to like a card template maker on Google. Ugh, oh my god I can't say Google. 
we went to a card template maker on Google, <laughs> and that's how we made the full card like itself. And it's pretty easy to use, and it has a lot of customizable options for the cards that you want to make. But anyways, yeah, in one evening and in one sitting, basically, I was able to get all the sketches and line art done for all the cards. Then in like another session, I did all the color and backgrounds really quick. And yeah, like I mentioned, using my method, I was able to get a lot done in a quick amount of time. And now I know that my art doesn't match the style of Yu-Gi-Oh cart art, but to be honest, I don't care. <laughs> uh, this is mostly just to have fun. And I really did. And my friend and I, we had so much fun making these cards. And I think that one thing we both really enjoyed was just having fun drawing and not caring too much about the final result because in the end all we care about is you know making each other laugh <laughs> i think that's that's what it really came down to is like which card is like more hilarious to read out loud and just what's funnier you know um but yeah let's get to it i'll, I'll show you how ours came out <laughs> we did it over a discord call and uh yeah, it, it was really funny. We put it in <laughs> one of our like friends' bigger Discord servers, and they they were probably just freaking out, going like, "Oh, oh my god, what are these nerds doing? What are they doing? <laughs> Sending all of these cards?" Uh, anyways, <laughs> yeah, let's take a look. One. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Can you read that? Yo. Okay, let's see. So we have primordial buzz. <clears throat> During the age of the ancients, when the primordial soup was crafted out and the sloppiest monster of all the primordial buzz laid ruin to the lands, getting rid of the gods, leaving only what was left on earth to suffer. When this card is played, <laughs> gain the effect of an enemy's monster of your choosing. Very nice. Very nice indeed. It's my default card, TJ. Four stars. Your default card. As a basic card. In response. Okay. I'm gonna play my 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 normal card. Oh yeah, my monster is a Dino Nuggy effect. Oh, I see. <laughs> He's sick. Zero zero zero. <laughs> <laughs> they might all be honestly. I didn't change any of that part. <laughs> well. To counter him, I play oh, Car Carlo the Peppino. <laughs> Carl Plant. Hailing from the septic pumpkin patch, uh, this young creature emerges from the ground and usually frolics around, destroying everything in his path. Jimmy's mom is the only human known to man who can tame this hideous creature. He needs to be fully... <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> oh, that's so good. All right, for my next card, I play a field card, a field oh, spell. Oh, field spell. Oh, star command. <laughs> Yo. Oh, that looks really good. <laughs> star command. Come in, Star Command. <laughs> when this card is played, <laughs> all buzz units. You <laughs> not even monsters. <laughs> buzz units. <laughs> I love that. Okay, when this card is played, all of us. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, <laughs> all buzz units gain the undying, unlimited, unrelenting support <laughs> of Star Command, straight from Al's toy barn, <laughs> becoming immortal, unable to take damage to life points or to buzz monsters, no matter the effect. Oh, that's a that's a oh it's a buzztron effect yeah <laughs> okay that's a good field spell i like that come in star command <laughs> that was my flavor text for that one because i didn't know what else to oh, I see. 
see. That's I thought, I thought that was just a quote. No, I mean it is. Says that a lot. But that's why I put it because I didn't know what. <laughs> Come in, start. <laughs> like, oh, that's good. I, I I couldn't tell if I was supposed to read that as one thing. <laughs> Uh, but I'm glad I did. That's real good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was the idea. <laughs> okay, let me. Uh, God, this is so good. I love this. <laughs> okay, um, in response, I I I have an equip card. Oh. And <laughs> and this this one is gonna up Carlo de Pepino's game significantly. <laughs> we got the classic, the Almighty the cucumber. <laughs> what is this? Jimmy's spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. What well, once the brain pass flavors from Jimmy's buff nutrition have been equipped to a monster you control. <laughs> Increase your equipped monster's attack and defense by 500 for each different flavor of Jimmy's buff nutrition. <laughs> play each turn. That's really good. I, the the first time I I saved it, I exported it. I accidentally misspelled it. I put Jimmy's buffy. <laughs> Jimmy's, Jimmy's buffy, buffy nutrition. nutrition. Oh god, uh, that's so good. All right. All right, TJ, you activated my trap card. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that one's cool! <laughs> yeah. I, I wish I had more time, because I wanted to put, like, the planet exploding and, like, the red things to be, like, a really bright yellow, like, as if the Earth was cracking. Uh -huh. But I kind of ran out of time, and I was like, I just need to finish this. So I just put it as, like, a really brown, because I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> uh -huh. Buzz the Destroyer of Cosmos Mega Buzz Effect. Oof. Gosh, this reminds me of Kermit the Destroyer of Worlds. <laughs> yeah. I love I love the Oma Is this the one where you were like <laughs> Oh god, he's attacking the village? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I kind of gave up on the village because I was like, there's no time to like draw this all out, so I just erased it and I did that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> And then there's, like, I think there was supposed to be, like, a little jet in the back that's getting shot down, but uh -huh. oh, yeah. whatever. No, I, I see him. <laughs> I see him. All right, TJ, see. read the text. <laughs> I like how it starts, like, not capitalized, and then the word under it is capitalized. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Even in space, you can hear him walk. The... <coughs> oh, God, hold on, I need water. Even in space, you can hear him walk. The race of Cybertron was obliterated with just his name, born from the depths of Malibu, California, B Docs. Oh, I shorted his. Yeah, it just oh. was Destroyer of Cosmos. Oh, oh, I see. I needed it to fit. <laughs> yeah. B Docs will get his revenge. During any effect made in game, you can play this trap to hit enemies' life points for 9,999, unable to be blocked by any cards as if it is the end times. That 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 one is a that one is a very soul crushing card, but I do I really do like the art for this one. Feed I couldn't get that other family. hand that was crushing the laser right. Uh-huh. <laughs> I kind of just gave up at one point. It's pretty good, though. <laughs> Do poop sleep. Heck yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad you played this. You can't tell, but I'm pushing up my anime glasses. Oh. Because I, too, would like to respond. I, I want to chain. I'm chaining your, your, your trap for my own trap. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ultra Lord's mess. Her adorable discomfort. <laughs> when activated, choose one of your opponent's monsters and equip it to that mon. Wait, when activated, choose one of your opponent's monsters and equip it to that monster. Once equipped, your opponent loses life points equal to the attack of that monster it is equipped to at the start of each turn. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. <laughs> My, oh. It's mildly perturbably discomforting. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
Actually, do you think with the star command like field effect it would work at all? Because it's just you're unable to take <laughs> life point damage. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> All right, TJ. That's funny. We're actually trying to see if it's viable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to hit you with a special card. Oh, boy. Well, actually, see. no. I'll save this one for last. I'm going to hit you with my fusion. Ooh, okay. Okay. My fusion. This is my fusion. I saw this as like a... Okay, so I saw this one like as a cup, and I thought it was a funny picture, so I like made it into something. You'll see. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Mega Buzz Wonton Ball. Oh, I like this one a lot. Look at how happy. Oh, he's. Is he happy? He has like one eye closed. <laughs> well, he looks happy to me. Holy, I gotta get. Whew, gotta get some more water. Dang, laughed so hard I sent him to the shop. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right let's see oh yeah <laughs> did you i i do like uh, that one eye is like <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> the real one well, it's because i i tried drawing because like in the picture that i saw of him being a cup he had like his arms crossed and uh -huh. i tried drawing his arms crossed but it didn't really come out looking like his arms were crossed <laughs> it just kind of looked like his body was all contorted uh -huh. so it kind of just looks like his chest piece instead of his like arms uh -huh. but that's all right i didn't care and then his face is a little broken uh -huh. no i like it and i like the tank too it's actually pretty cool <laughs> Buzz it's Aldrin. just a square. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> did did some call in the big buzz? Take a slurp down the buzz cannon <laughs> as this fusion destroys any two cards out of opponent's hand, banishing them permanently. When the card is summoned, this card is not affected by enemy spells, only traps. If your opponent's name starts with the letter T... <laughs> They can no longer attack till this card is destroyed. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, it would have been good, though, if you put the letter J. <laughs> yeah, like, if it was self-sabotage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if the player starts with the letter J. <laughs> <laughs> Still very good, though. That, ni that 9,099 attack, that's going to be a tough <laughs> one. That's going to be a tough one to beat. All right, oh, TJ. I like that. God, the last one's so good Your too. The last one monster. came together so well. Yeah, I'll I'll play. I'll show you my special one. Not not my not my blue eyes, but let me show you. Give you a <laughs> taste of my pendulum monster. Oh dang! <laughs> what? Carl Junior's judge. <laughs> That's really he's, good. He's got two effects because he's a pendulum <laughs> monster. Uh, okay, so his spell effect is when Carl Jr. is <laughs> summoned or pendulum summoned, all monsters between levels 1 to 9 on your opponent's side uh, of the field are destroyed. Your opponent cannot main. Oh, not, <laughs> I don't know why I put that. <laughs> Cannot, cannot may not, may not. <laughs> summon monsters that fall between levels one to nine until Carl Jr. is banished. <laughs> uh, Carl Llama type. Carl Jr. has gone on a rogue mission, judging those who stand before him. <laughs> in the name of all those who disgraced his father. <laughs> The big wheeze himself after his battle with Finn the human. It was, uh, there's no telling what this lunatic is up to now. That's really good. <laughs> I, I even added Finn's demon but, blood yeah, sword. I see, I see the background is actual Carl Jr. <laughs> yeah. Well, allow me to present to you, TJ. Uh huh. Let's see it. <clears throat> God, I love seeing everyone, like, on Discord. I love seeing like, their pop-up pop up every time we post. <laughs> oh, my God! Yes! 
I use, <laughs> I use the background of Terminator. <laughs> That's really good. I like this one a lot. Yeah. Buzzinator, Rise of the Buzz. <laughs> Cyborg Buzz Effect. <coughs> oh, and he's a... What what was that one again? The the X Y Z or something. Oh, it, it the... succeeds, but then the the little the little ball and the... ball. Uh, I think it's like void. Mm, mm-hmm. mm. A void element. I see. The year is nineteen ninety seven. Buzz traveled to the future to learn karate, <laughs> and traveled back to end the war with his new attacks. When this card is summoned, you're able to see the next card in the deck and decide to leave it or send it to the back of the pack. The defense <laughs> of this card is always 500 more than the attacker's attack power. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that's actually, that's a, that's a pretty good effect. <laughs> yeah. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, I was going for that one, like, um... <clears throat> What's that, like, that one picture of, like, the Terminator where he's standing on the hill holding, like, a giant machine gun? But uh-huh. I tried to just, like, replicate that with just Buzz <laughs> holding a car on instead of a, a gun. <laughs> it's, it's really good. It, it, it has yeah. a very good silhouette. Yeah. And, like, the black and white version of or like the gray like where it's just like this without the lines and being gray i'm like wow you can really tell this is just buzz holding up yeah. <laughs> oh that's All right, that one. was my last card uh time to show you my ultimate card what's considered my blue eyes i like how <laughs> instead of it mine being like konami or whatever the whatever thing yours is uh-huh. <laughs> Eben, oh. <laughs> or even Ebenezer Weezer. <laughs> that's canonically that's Carl's dad's name. <laughs> I googled it. <laughs> well, what did I put? Nice oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> mm. Pepperoni Supreme. I should have put Pepino. I don't know why I put Pepperoni. <laughs> All right, time to show you my Egyptian god card. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Carl Beefer. <laughs> uh, Carl Riz Weezer. <laughs> when this card or this card gains a thousand attack for each Carl type monster on the field, uh once he bites you <laughs> once he bites your lips. <laughs> I put he Let bites your lips. <laughs> once he bites your lips. <laughs> I, I was supposed to put once he bites his lips. Yeah, I realized that. <laughs> <laughs> once he bites your lips. <laughs> it's just so gross. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> God, it's oh, it's so like good. the most uncomforting card. <laughs> God, that's so good. <laughs> oh, jeez, Carl B. And the, he's he's supposed to be in a he he's towelless in a sauna. That's the lore for him. <laughs> <laughs> Once he uh... bites your lips, his hands are up in the air. Once you feel the sting of his bite, his hands are already wrapped around you. <laughs> Oh jeez! Yeah, make... these are so uh, good. Oh, that they 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 are good. I gotta make them rhyme next time. Next time I do flavor yeah. text. Oof. Oh man, no, th- these were good. I I am very happy with with all these turns out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in there just what? <laughs> huh? What were they doing? Huh? <laughs> and yeah, like I said, it was a lot of fun. If any of y'all made it this far, I definitely encourage you to make some with your friends. Uh, You know, if you have like some art block or something, this is a real good way to get out of that. 
And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. I'll see you. Oh my god. I'll see y'all soon. Later, homies.